Looking at homework from section 2.4. This is question number 12. Compare the three data sets, and we have three dot plots. Which data set has the greatest sample standard deviation? Which set has the least sample standard deviation? And how are the data sets the same? How do they differ? Well, the standard deviation is a measurement of the spread of a data set. Tightly grouped data has a small standard deviation and widely dispersed data has a large standard deviation. So when we compare these graphs, we see that the third graph has most of its values right around the 8, whereas graphs 1 and 2 have their data a little farther apart. So we would expect graph 3 to have the smallest standard deviation. Then when we compare graphs 1 and 2, 1 has more of its data values close to the center value of 8, whereas graph 2 has a little more spread. So we would expect the most spread graph to have the largest standard deviation. So the correct choice for part A, which data set has the greatest sample standard deviation, is going to be graph 2. So data set 2, because it has more entries that are farther away from the mean. Which one has the least? Well, we already said that was graph 3, which is choice B. And how are the data sets the same? How do they differ? Well, we can talk about our three measures of central tendency. The mean of each one of these data sets is 8. You can tell because these data sets are symmetric. Remember that in symmetric data sets, they have the same mean, median, and mode. So because of the symmetric nature of these data sets, we know they'll all have the same mean, median, and mode. And we can easily find the mode, which is the most frequently occurring data value, and that's clearly the 8. So these all have a mean, median, and mode of 8. So that's how they're the same. But they differ by their standard deviations. So the correct choice for part B is going to be C. The three data sets have the same mean, median, and mode, but have different standard deviations. And that's your answer.